Hey guys, this is James from Cruise West Coast, and we are here in front of the Celebrity Millennium on a beautiful, sunny San Diego day. Hey, actually, just, just kidding. This is a little overcast this morning, but that's called the Marine Layer here in San Diego and on the West Coast, as you guys know. But don't worry, by sail away, these guys are gonna have a beautiful, sunny day. Uh, but today we are on, like I said, Celebrity Millennium, and it's gonna be a different kind of trip. This one, this tour, is about the wine and food selection and, and the really, Celebrity tells me that they have one of the best wine selections, one of the best wine programs at sea. So you know me, I love wine. We are really looking forward to checking this out. So uh, let's go on board and see what we have in store for us today. We're walking into the terminal. This is at the Port of San Diego, the B Street Pier. And uh, Celebrity Millennium is actually an older ship. It's one of the oldest in their fleet, I think. But uh, I was told that they just spent a ton of money redoing it, bringing it up to speed. It's got some of the newer features like the Blue Restaurant. I think is where we're going to be actually dining today. I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, you know, the important thing with ships is not necessarily how old the metal is, because the bigger brands and the better brands, they all maintain their ships really, really well. So that's not something that you should totally worry about. But in addition to really the, the, the hard product, the metal, the, the fabric, all that kind of stuff, the leather, of course, it's really the crew. And uh, just for walking around town, celebrity crew are really, really nice people. I've heard great things about them. And uh, that's ultimately one of the things that differentiates, you know, one cruise from the next. It's, it's every crew has bar, every cruise has bars, every ship has restaurants. That's really not a differentiator anymore. It's really about the soft product. It's about the feeling you get from being on the ship and having a great day. got off of the Celebrity Millennium and uh, wow you know I'm really impressed uh, one of the things that is difficult to to really to really see talk about think about when it comes down to uh, picking the right cruise ship or understanding you know why is Holland America line different than Celebrity is different than Carnival different than Princess or whatever line you're gonna compare it really comes down to the soft product and that's true in our previous video where I talked about uh, the luxury discovery yacht but it's really true also in a ship like this I've heard for a while that uh, you know Celebrity has a really good wine program, but I didn't really understand that. Like everybody can say they have a great wine program. I don't say that that's, that's irrelevant these days. But here, I learned that every one of the dining rooms has a psalm, not a wine steward, but an actual psalm. So it's little things like that that really make a difference when it comes to booking a cruise if you're a wine guy. And we had a fantastic lunch, and you know as you saw. It was really good. I, I could have been in a fine dining establishment here in San Diego, not just on a cruise ship. So with that being said, uh, you know, if you're looking to book a cruise, make sure you contact Heather at FlowVoyages.com because uh, she's done these things with me. I've done these things as well, but uh, definitely by having expertise, 
having someone that's actually done there to help tell you and through your journey what's important, those are the kind of things a travel advisor can help you with. So with that being said, you know, bye-bye Celebrity Millennium. Have a great trip down to the uh, Panama Canal and the new home port in San, not San Diego, but San Juan, Puerto Rico. And uh, we look forward to, uh, to trying your sister ship, the Celebrity Solstice, which is sailing out of Los Angeles in the shoulder season uh, sometime soon. So thanks a lot, guys. Have a wonderful day and enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.